Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. The subject of today's video takes place in the Swiss city of Basel and we will be focusing on their sprawling tram system. The focus of today's video is Basel tram line number 10, which is one of the only tram lines to run into an entirely different country. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here is a quick look at the route of Basel tram line number 10. Trains start out in the village of Dorna before heading north into the downtown core of Basel. After exiting the downtown core, trains head south once again before entering France for around a two mile stretch before exiting France and ending in the small Swiss village of Rodersdorf. There used to be some older, more retro looking rolling stock built by the likes of Duvag and SWP on Basel tram line number 10, but now they've all mostly been replaced by these new, flashy, and modern looking Stadler Tango tram sets. These trains were built between 2008 and 2016. All right, let's talk about these Stadler Tango trams. In my opinion, they're one of my favorite trams in the world, as they're modern and I love BLT's color scheme. It just really fits for me. Another thing is that these trains supposedly feature Wi-Fi, although it's really never worked for me at least. Here is a quick look at the interior of the tram. As you can see, these trams are quite modern, with excellent wayfinding and pretty decent and comfortable seats. Overall, these trams are really nice and I'd love to try them in other places in the world. So that was Basel tram line number 10. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool line in a big sprawling tram system, considering that it goes to another country. Although my main complaint is that it goes a little too far, as it operates more like a semi-commuter rail than a actual tram. Nevertheless, I still think it's a pretty cool line, and if you're ever around Basel, I highly recommend you check it out. 